Here we go ahead, sir. LTJ, the vehicle's clean and the teams are go. Good luck, you guys, Copy that, launch director. I can trace my memory of wanting to become an astronaut back to when I was about seven years old. Uh, we went on a summer vacation from El Paso here to Houston, and as part of the things that we looked at here in Houston, one of them was Johnson Space Center. Uh, my father worked on cars, he worked, it was not a single machine that he was afraid of tearing apart and putting back together again, and I remember seeing that as a kid, it was very influential for me, and it was through that pursuit of a passion that when I applied to become an astronaut, NASA saw that that's really what they were looking for. Not so much people who wanted to become astronauts as much as people who were passionate about what they were doing. If I'd never become an astronaut, I would have been very happy being a mechanical engineer. When I left my undergraduate, my wife, uh, Marie, she ended up going to U of H to get her master's degree in education, and I decided to pursue my master's degree in in uh, engineering and so together we both completed our degree together we graduated the same year in 1993 and it was uh, it was a unique experience and for me education has been the key to achieving the success that I have it's been through uh, the support of the people that are around me as well as having the experience base that we found at the University of Houston uh, the faculty and the staff to me have a very high standard, a very high caliber that impressed me. And the things I learned at U of H, I still use as part of my job here within the Johnson Space Center, you know, on a, almost on a daily basis. In order to become an astronaut, there were a lot of things that I accomplished along the way, and it was very much a journey that, that I took. But I will tell you that my first shuttle experience was, it was out of this world. D minus 10, 9, 8, 7, main engine start, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis to assemble the framework for the science laboratories of tomorrow. Houston now controlling. Roger, roll, Atlantis. SRV separation is confirmed two minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. If we push ourselves to become educated in areas that, that we're not presently educated in, we're pushing our own comfort levels. And if there is no challenge, then there is no learning. There's no opportunity to, to grow. You should push yourself to failure. You should know where your personal limits and your personal boundaries are. And as you fail, if you don't give up, that's when you learn. That's when you succeed. I'm Daniel Levis, and I am the pride.